Hello and welcome to reading through the Bible in a year. I am Eric. I'm the guy waving because it's so dark in here. And I'm, I'm the guy waving to buddy. We're still at Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. And we're doing our Bible reading here. Well, we're waiting for the nurse to come in and do more medical treatments. And we're reading today from the Isaiah chapters. Whoops, we're okay. Yeah. Day chapter one, uh, 289, I should say. 289. And chapter Isaiah, chapter 47, 28, and 49. Oh, that might be a long reading. And First Thessalonians, chapter 4. So, we'll pray and we'll get right at it. Father in heaven, we thank you for the great love that you lavish upon us. You are so generous and thank you. And Lord, yet in all that you lavish us with, we still are needy people. And this hospital is just an example of that. How needy we are. Help us, Lord, in our time of need to look to you. Help us to put our trust in you in all things. And those of us who are healthy at the time, Lord, help us in our faith to stand with those who are looking to you for what they need from you. We pray your healing hand upon Lucas and many others, Lord. We have a long list of who we pray for, and we know them all, and we thank you that we can lift them to you with hope and expectation that you are doing and will do great and mighty things in their lives. And we bless, ask your blessing upon each and every one who joins in with us in reading your word. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen. It's my turn to read. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mail. Remove your veil. Take off the shirt. Uncover the thigh. Pass through the river. Your nakedness shall be uncovered. Yes, your shame will be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not arbitrate with a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no longer be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people. I have profaned my inheritance and given them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the elderly you laid your yoke very heavily, and you said, I shall be a lady forever, so that you did not take those things to heart. No, nor remember the latter end of them. Therefore, hear this now, you who are given to pleasure, who dwell securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, nor shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and the widowhood. They shall come upon you in their fullness because of the multitude of your sorceries and for the great abundance of your enchantments. So they're talking about people who aren't serving God who are involved in witchcraft. Well, there, it sounds to me like God sent the Israelites or by captivity to these, under these people, the Chaldeans and the Egyptians or the Babylonians, and then uh, they because treated they them very harshly. Because they weren't and, serving God. And they, yeah, and then the Babylonians and the Chaldeans that's that's what I'm sensing. Anyway. That's what it sounds. They like treated them so hard. Now he's saying, because you treated them so so hardly, I'm going to tread upon you. Okay, chat verse ten. For you have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have warped you, and you have said in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. Therefore, evil shall come upon you. You shall not know from where it arises, and trouble shall fall upon you, and you shall not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. Verse 12, Stand now with your enchantments and the multitudes of your sorceries, in which you have um, labored from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to profit, perhaps you will prevail, and you are weary in the multitudes of your counsel. Let now the astrologers and the stargazers gazers, and the um, monthly prognostrators stand up and save you. 
from what shall come upon you. Behold, they shall be as stumble, the fire shall burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the powers of the flame. And it shall not be a coal to be warmed by, nor a fire to sit before. Thus shall they be to you with whom you have labor, your merchants from your youth. They shall want, wander each one to his quarter, and no one shall save you. Okay. Chapter 48. 48. Hear this, O house of Jacob, who has called, who are called, who are called by the name of Israel, and have come forth from the wellspring of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Isaiah, but not in truth or in righteousness. For they call themselves after the holy city, and lean on the God of Israel, the Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth from my mouth, and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them, and they came to pass, because I knew that you were obstinate, and your neck was an iron seal, and your brow bronze. Even from the beginning I have declared it to you, before it came to pass, I proclaim it to you, lest you should say, My idol has done this, and my carving images, and my molten image have commanded them. You have heard, see all this, and will you not declare it? I have made you hear new things from this time, have hidden things, and you did not know them. They were created now, and not from the beginning, and before this day you have not heard them. Thus you should say, of course I knew him. Surely you did not hear. Surely you did not know. Surely from long ago your ear was not open. For I knew that you would deal very treacherously and were called a transgressor from the womb. So they were like born bad kind of thing. For my name's sake I will defer my anger. And for my praise I will restrain it from you. So that I do not cut you off. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I will do it. For how should my name be profaned, and I will not give my glory to another? Listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel, my call. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. Indeed, my hand has laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand I stretch out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand up together. Verse 14. All of you assemble yourselves and hear. Who among you then has declared these things? The Lord loves you. He shall do his pleasure upon Babylon, and his arm shall be against the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken. Yes, I have called him, and I have brought him, and his way was prosperous. Come now to me, hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, I was there. And now the Lord God and his Spirit have sent me. Thus saith the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. Oh, that you had he heeded me, my commandments. Then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Your descendants also would have been like the sand, and the offspring of your body like the grains of sand. His name would not have been cut off, nor destroyed from before me. Verse 20, go forth from Babylon, flee from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing, declare, proclaiming this, utter it to the ends of the earth, say, the Lord has redeemed his servants Jacob, and they did not thirst, and when he led them through the desert, he called the waters to flow from the rock for them. He also split the rock, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Chapter 49. Listen, O coastlands, to me, and take heed, you people from afar. <coughs> the Lamb, the, has, Lord. the Lord, has called me from the womb, from the matrix of my mother. He has made mention of my name, and he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he has hidden me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver he has hidden me. Verse 3. 
And he said to me, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, and I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. And yet surely my just reward is with the Lord, and my work is with my God. Verse 5. And now the Lord says, Who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, so that Israel is gathered to him. For I shall be glorified in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Indeed, he says, it is too small a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the, pres the preserved ones of Israel. I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles, that you should be my salvation to the ends of the earth. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, their Holy One, to whom man despises, to him whom the nations abhor, to the servants of rulers and kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship, worship because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, and he has chosen you. Verse Thus says the Lord, in an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. I will preserve you and give you as a covenant to the people to restore the earth to cause them to inherit the desolate her heritages, that you may say to the prisoners, Go forth to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. And they shall feed along the roads, and their pastures shall be on all the desolate heights. And they shall neither hunger nor thirst, neither heat nor sun shall strike them. For he who has mercy on them will lead them. Even by the springs of water he will guide them. I will make each of my mountains a road, and my highways shall be elevated. Surely these shall come from afar. Look, those from the north and the west, and those from the land of Sinim. Sing, O heavens, be joyful, O earth, and break out in singing, O mountains, for the Lord has comforted his people, and he will have mercy on his afflicted. Verse 14. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, and my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child, and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the psalms of my hand, in the palms of my hand. Your walls are continually before me. Your sons shall make haste. Your destroyer and those who laid you waste shall go away from you. Lift up your eyes, look around and see. All these gather together and come to you. As I live, says the Lord, you shall surely clothe yourself with them all as an ornament, and bind them on you as a bride does. Verse 19. For your waste and desolate places in the land of your destruction will even now be too small for the inhabitants, and those who swallow you will up will be far away, and the children you will have after you have lost the others will say again in your ears the place is too small for me give me a place where i may dwell then you will say in your heart who has begotten these for me since i have lost my children and am desolate a captive and a wanderer in the night to and fro and who has brought these up there i was left alone but these where they are they and where were they verse 22 thus says the lord god behold I will lift my hand in an oath to the nations, and set up my standard for the people. They shall bring you s your sons in their arms, and your daughters shall be carried on their shoulders. Kings shall be your foster fathers, and their queens your nursing mothers. They shall bow down to you, and their faces to the earth, with their faces to the earth, and lick up the dust of your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord. For they shall not be ashamed to wait for me. Verse 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the captive of the righteous be delivered? But thus saith the Lord, Even the captains of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children, and I will feed those who op okay. oppress, and with their own blood you you with their own flesh, and they shall be drank with their own blood, as with sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, 
Evangel of Jesus, the right. mighty one. We Jesus. urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus what you should abound more and more. Turn the page. Just as you received from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this, this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, and that each of you should know his own person, and possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such. And as we also forewarned you and testified, for God did not call us to uncleanliness, but to holiness. Therefore, Four, room 47. he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. But concerning brotherly love, you have no need that I should wait to you, for you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. And indeed, we do so towards all the brethren who are in all Macedonia. But we urge you, brethren, that you increase more and more, that you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that you may walk properly towards those who are outside, and that you may lack nothing. Verse 15. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you, by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are sleeping. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet, the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. And therefore comfort one another with these words. And that's what we leave you with. Comfort one another with the words of the Lord. God will raise you up. Bless you.